So in this case, this is in Ecuador, and this is the United States Embassy. And why I was looking at the embassy is a gentleman by the name of Duncan Campbell and another gentleman by the name of Andy Muller Magoon showed that it was possible to have walls. And of course, we've, I've read about this in the past in doing research. It was possible to have walls that you could see through with radio waves, but that you wouldn't be able to see through with your eyes. But I always sort of made the assumption that you would never be able to see them visibly, that of course, people who are so good at doing these things, they would never make mistakes. And as Trevor, I think, very helpfully, regularly points out, if there's one thing these guys do, it's that they always make mistakes. And then you can see them with your eyes right in front of you. So here's the US Embassy. And what you see along the top line is a satellite dish and then the roof. And then the next line down, you see that the fence is covering the building. But you also see a sort of gray strip that turns into a set of windows. And as it turns out, that is a very strange feature of a building. Here in Germany, in Berlin, on Parisa Platz, there is a similar set of paneling which we revealed was one of the special service, uh, special collection sites that they actually used to collect on Angela Merkel. So in the story where we revealed that um, your, um, your great leader was spied on by the NSA, we learned how they do the spying as well. And we learned how to see where those sensors are actually placed on buildings. So I happened to be in Quito and I happened to have access to a vehicle, and I thought that I would go for a drive and see if it was the same, if they made the same mistake that you could see in Berlin with your very own eyes. And as it just so happens, they did. So this is a photograph inside of a hardware store where a friend of, I, of mine and I went and found a ladder, and then we climbed up in the middle of the store, which was a little strange. They were not terribly displeased, but we explained that in order to determine if the ladder met the criteria for purchase, we needed to know <laughs> if the ladder was suitable for the task at hand. And so we simply set up the ladder inside of the store, and as you can see, the satellite dish is up on top again, and you can see a little surveillance camera up on the corner. But what you'll also notice is the curious lack of glass in what should be a set of windows. I believe, and Duncan Campbell has encouraged me to think of it in this way, that those are dielectric panels, which mean that they do not interfere with electrical signals and that there are signals intelligence collection equipment on the other side of those panels, which along with computers for doing the processing, um, they helpfully look out across a huge valley in Quito, including all of the major cell phone trunking systems and cell phone towers for the whole city. So that's a very useful window, but they don't have any interest in looking at it visually. They want to look at the electromagnetic spectrum with devices.